Hi, everyone, and welcome to this session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 2 CK Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology, here today to get you that higher score come test day. If you're ready, I'm ready, let's jump into this. So for this question, we have a 54-year-old lawyer. Why do they tell us he's a lawyer? Might be important. Presents to the emergency department with diarrhea for the past two months. Okay, so we've got a middle-aged person here, diarrhea, past two months, you've got a time frame. He has associated fatigue, shortness of breath, and weight loss. Anytime that you see that weight loss, it's gotta be important. It's not just any weight loss, like a pound or two, but approximately 10 pounds over the last few months. It doesn't even say if he actually was trying to lose the weight, which means you better assume that he wasn't trying to lose the weight. So this guy's just losing weight, not a good thing, during which time the symptoms have worsened. Okay, so we've got all these symptoms in this diarrhea. He's no past medical history, not a smoker, not a drinker, no meds. So this guy seems like he's in pretty good health, except for these symptoms that just happened over the past few months. So on exam, his blood pressure is normal, 115 over 75, but the pulse is high, 108 per minute. He's pale, and the neuro exam shows loss of vibration sense, spasticity, and a positive Babinski sign. Always a bad thing when you have that positive Babinski. So this guy who's coming to you with basically no medical history has this issue going on. What's happening? How do we get this guy some good treatment? But first, what's our question even today? We're just reading about the guy. First, we got some labs. So it shows us a hematocrit of 26% that should jump out to you as being a little bit low. White count looks okay. Platelets look okay. The MCV is high, 116. That should automatically key to you this guy has something macrocytic going on when you see that high number. The retic count, 0.5%, that should also jump out to you as being low. The serum LDH, high at 650. And the total billy, too, also should jump out to you as being high. So we got some abnormal labs in this guy with generally no past medical history. So what's going on? This question just wants to know what's the diagnosis here. So is it alcoholic liver disease, folate deficiency, hemolytic anemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, or vitamin B12 deficiency? Take a few moments and select what you think is the best answer. Okay, great. So the correct answer here is choice E, vitamin B12 deficiency. So some key points about B12 deficiency. Number one, it's a macrocytic anemia. Okay, that's what we're gonna see. So macrocytosis, MCV greater than 110. You're gonna see diarrhea. You're gonna see neurologic symptoms. That's what strongly suggests the diagnosis. So what's happening in this guy? This guy's a lawyer, he's middle-aged, and he's got these labs that indicate anemia. He's pale, he's really fatigued. That also goes in line with anemia. He's got this diarrhea. How does the diarrhea relate to vitamin B12 deficiency? Well, because if we have diarrhea and we're not absorbing B12, that's how you're gonna get that vitamin B12 deficiency. Usually it takes months to happen, and that's why this guy's been having these symptoms that have been progressively worsening over months. So notice how all of this is coming together. Okay, so what's the diarrhea etiology? So a lot of things could be celiac sprue, could be bacterial overgrowth, could be pancreatic insufficiency, maybe pancreatic cancer, okay? Because this guy, he's middle-aged, and who knows, you know, this guy losing weight. You know, this is the things that you gotta be thinking about. It's just not part of the question, but it's something for you to take away from this and to think more, critically think about why is this guy presenting like this? So do you know about B12 physiology? It's absorbed in the terminal ileum, need intrinsic factor to do so. And also a little side point is if we have B12 deficiency and we have chronic atrophic gastritis, you can think about pernicious anemia. Okay, so a lot of different things could cause this B12 deficiency. All you had to do here was diagnose it, but you as a critical thinker to take away from this is what could have caused it. 
So some other key points, the neurologic symptoms definitely give away the B12 deficiency. When you're trying to decide between folate deficiency or B12 deficiency, you're only gonna have those neuro symptoms, that subacute combined degeneration with vitamin B12 deficiency. How do we diagnose it in this guy? Take a B12 level, it's gonna be low. If those results are inconclusive, maybe not that low, usually you're gonna get a methyl malonic acid level. Know that for test day, that's gonna come back as high. And if you wanna get antiparietal cell antibodies, those come back positive, that's gonna tell you he's got per pernicious anemia. So recap for this question today, deficiency of vitamin B B12, you got a macrocytic anemia, neurologic deficits, that's subacute combined degeneration. It's extremely important to remember this because you're always gonna be thinking B12 deficiency versus folate. Folate doesn't have those neurological symptoms, B12 deficiency does. Great job today for Kaplan's USMLE Step 2 CK Q-Blast. You're well on your way to getting a higher score come test day, and I'm happy to help you get there. I'm Dr. Matt Alvin, and I'll see you guys next time.